welcome. This presentation will explain what a tax-exempt lease purchase is, how it works, and how a city, town, or district can authorize one. A tax-exempt lease purchase, or TELP, is an agreement used by a city, town, or district to finance the acquisition of equipment or improvement of a capital asset. A TELP can only be used for acquisitions or improvements that would have otherwise been permissible to finance through the issuance of debt under Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 44, or other general or special law. Over the course of the lease, the city, town, or district makes payments to the owner of the equipment, usually a financing company, for use of the asset during the term of the agreement. At the end of the agreement, title or ownership of the equipment is transferred to the city, town, or district for no or nominal consideration. Cities, towns, and districts can usually use TELPs to purchase IT and telecommunications hardware, modular buildings, heavy equipment, recreational equipment, and vehicles. The use of TELPs is authorized and governed by Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 44, Section 21C, the text of which can be seen here. In a typical tax-exempt lease purchase agreement, a financing company pays an equipment supplier in full for equipment to be used by a city or town. Over time, the city or town repays the financing company for the equipment and installment payments agreed to in a lease between the municipality and the financing company. The term of this lease cannot exceed the useful life of the asset acquired through the agreement. Upon repayment, the title for the equipment passes to the municipality. TELP agreements are a binding obligation of the city, town, or district as if it were debt authorized under Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 44, provided the legislative body approves an appropriation by majority vote for the purpose of funding the payments due in the first fiscal year of the agreement. The use of a TELP can be recommended by the city, town, or district's chief executive officer, a select board in town, the mayor in a city or prudential committee in a district, if any. The agreement must then be approved by two thirds vote of the legislative body. The legislative body vote should identify at a minimum, the equipment or asset to be acquired or improved, the maximum term of the agreement, and the department authorized to enter the agreement. Remember, the term of the lease agreement cannot exceed the useful life of the asset. It is important to note, again, that an appropriation for the first fiscal year of the lease binds the community to making the remaining installment payments. The vote to appropriate funds for the first year of the lease's payments can take place in the same vote to authorize the agreement, or separately, and can be funded through the operating or capital budget. To learn more about this topic, or for contact information for the Division of Local Services, please visit mass.gov DLS. In addition, please review the Commissioner of Revenue's official guidance on the subject, Informational Guideline Release 2019-9, regarding lease purchase financing agreements.